You made it. Great to see you. And oh, who am I? Well, my name is Mojack Luku, and this is the Boom Pow Wow Show. And today, we're going to talk about fireworks. But before we do that, please don't forget to subscribe to make sure you get more sizzling takes on these explosive topics you care about. I know you care. You're at home, in lockdown. You've got nothing else to do. Insert sound effects and sh**. What? Fireworks, a traditional way to ward off evil spirits at the start of the new year, and now also an affordable way for young couples to burn down entire ecosystems at gender reveal parties. Wow, guys, you killed koalas to find out it's a boy. Oh, yes, nothing says we're in love and starting a family, quite like incinerating the natural habitat of a springbok. Springbok braai everywhere. I will say, guys, have you ever had fried springbok meat? It's delicious. Oh, sorry. Uh, Animal lovers. Fireworks are commonplace in pretty much all cultures across the world. From the New Year's celebrations in Sydney to the Indian Diwali Festival of Lights. From the Sumidagawa Fireworks Festival of Japan to the famous 4th of July light show in the US of A. You know they love their fireworks, huh? Everybody go on. Everybody go on. To be fair in the last one, loud bangs can be heard throughout the entire year. But don't worry, it's usually just the sweet sound of domestic terrorism. I can hear it in the distance. That's an R5. People have always loved fireworks. Queen Elizabeth I was so fascinated with them that she created a special honorary title, Fire Master of England, for the individual who managed to create the most impressive fireworks display that year. Fire Marshal of England was also the name of her lover man who made fireworks in her pants. Pew, pew. And for all the fireworks they created in our country over the centuries, they just sent us their armies. This year, Queen Elizabeth II promised to bestow the same title to whoever made sure Meghan Markle had a terrible firework incident. Yikes. It's foul play in that house. Hmm? Here in South Africa, we used to have the most loving relationship with fireworks. I remember every Guy Fawkes Day used to be a blast. N no, literally. Yes, you heard right. South Africans would always remember the 5th of November. Bars. Because why? Colonization. Don't hate, PTSD is real. Guy Fawkes Day ironically commemorates the failure of a gunpowder plot, which we managed to celebrate by successfully burning down our own backyards. Damn it, this gunpowder plot didn't even happen in our country. But hey, colonization, am I right? You know, colonization often gets a pretty bad rap. But no one ever talks about the fun parties. What? Although we weren't invited to any of them. Anyways, if you've noticed, I've been talking in the past tense. That's because we canceled Guy Fawkes Day. Not because of colonization, we could handle that. The thing is, one year all South Africans were informed at the same time that our pets couldn't handle it. I can't even deal. I know my dog's just, he struggles. He's having a terrible time. It was just so hard for, for Yaku. He's like one of the family. Oh, poor Yaku was just barking. Roof, roof, roof. Apparently decades of firework celebration had caused our dogs irreversible generational trauma. But more on that later. Last year, fireworks resulted in more than 10,000 injuries in the states alone. In India, the famous Diwali festival used to be celebrated by lighting of ghee burning lamps. But all of this changed with the opening of India's first fireworks factory in 1940. From that point onwards, two things were being given away. Firecrackers and such lovely phosphorus poisoning. In Norway, Fireworks can be sold from the 27th of December to the 31st. They may only be fired between 6 and 10 p.m. on New Year's Eve. That's when people politely shoot them in the air and feign a brief moment of joy on their eternally frozen faces. Ugh. Which is boring as f but still preferable to Berlin, where the whole city organizes a contest to find out which type of clothing is more flammable. But the important part is that fireworks are to pets what sunlight is to incels. Scary, as well as potentially dangerous. According to Forbes, as many as 40% of dogs experience severe noise-related anxieties during the holidays. That's about double the percentage of friends who RSVP to your Game of Thrones themed New Year's Eve bash. It's okay. But there are things you can do to alleviate your pet's stress. For example, pheromones. Studies prove that providing your dog with an unwashed piece of clothing will actually calm your pets down. I guess dogs like homeless people. I can just imagine the scene. Bravo locking himself in a candlelit bedroom, 
tightly gripping my musky socks to his chest, rolling around to the sounds of Ariana Grande. Anyway, it's not just dogs. Because of fireworks, many birds flee their nests without even knowing how to return once the craziness ends, which leaves the young at the mercy of predators, while probably also being deaf. So they can't hear any of the sh can't enjoy hip hop, can't enjoy trompies, can't enjoy Britney Spears. <sighs> it's basically the bird's version of your dad going out for a pack of cigarettes, never to be seen again. Only in this case, the birds actually want to come back to their kids. <laughs> I need to uh, get in contact with my father. <laughs> Talk about being scared motherless. And I know you South Africans are thinking you find a way to get rid of those hardy does. No, they don't need their fathers. They're basically prehistoric. Even if those birds don't find you, that annoying voice will. Ah, 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 I'm sleeping, your swine. Now, while fireworks have been a long-standing tradition, let's not forget that the same can be said about a lot of other horrible customs. For example, not letting women vote until like, a couple of Olympics ago? Sorry ladies, sorry, we just we were worried you'd vote for Trump again. But perhaps the time has come to ask ourselves, is blowing up enough explosives to carpet bomb Switzerland twice really the best way to celebrate another year that's going to screw me over again? Why don't we just call it quits on the shitty rockets this year? Invest in fiery reality TV shows like um, Love and Hip Hop, or Ghosted, or X on the Beach, or that other sh** on The Bachelor. You watch that. Get out! I actually like it too, if we must be honest. Like when they give the roses and then it's like... <laughs> Please don't keep that in. Now those are some fireworks right there. And no little birdies have to use their parents. Bonus! Now, we may not have illuminated all the positive and negative aspects of fireworks in this episode, so we'd like to ask you, what are your experiences with fireworks been so far? Are they worth your pet having a heart attack? Please let us know in the comments section below. And don't be an about it. Okay. Did you like what you saw here today? If you did, click over here or here for more and don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. If you don't, you will sacrifice a panda bear and then a chinchilla. <laughs>